Hello, my name is Maureen Perry and I'm an education specialist at the Coachella Valley Water District. We have put together a series of videos that will bring you a lot of information about several of our facilities throughout the district, facilities that normally the public is not allowed to enter or to see. So we hope you appreciate this new series. And remember, your water is our promise. Hello, my name is Dan Reese. I'm an engineering manager for Coachella Valley Water District. And today we're gonna to talk a little bit about our water reservoirs that we have in our system. So Coachella Valley Water District has 64 reservoirs in our system and they provide water and water pressure for you, our customer. This particular reservoir is a concrete tank. It's about 238 feet in diameter and 41 feet tall. This reservoir is special because it's half buried. About 25 feet of the tank is constructed below the ground. This was done because we have to achieve a certain elevation for the base of the tank to give you proper water pressure. This tank has 10 million gallons of storage. So that means we can supply about 14,000 homes with water for one day during an average day. In addition, this particular tank was designed to resist seismic forces. The San Andreas Fault is located about two and a half miles north of this tank. And so this tank was designed to resist those, that earthquake. And in fact, there's about 3 million gallons of empty space above the water level, which will allow any water in the tank to slosh back and forth without destroying the tank during an earthquake. Let me talk about the construction of this reservoir since it was very, very much a special design and the construction involved an excavation of about a 100 yard diameter area, 25 feet deep below the existing ground surface. This was so that we can construct the tank at the correct elevation. And so once the floor was constructed, which was constructed in four segments, the contractor built the walls of the tank along with 88 columns in the center of the tank to help support this roof that we're standing on. The concrete walls of this tank vary from 18 inches at the bottom to 12 inches at the top. Again, all with seismic cables. And in addition, there's about 72 miles of pre-tension wire that is wrapped around this tank to hold it together. Again, in the event there's an earthquake and that water sloshes back and forth. Why did we build a concrete tank? Well, we built a concrete tank at this location based on the size and location of this reservoir. Uh, tanks above six to seven million gallons um, tend to be more cost effective with concrete. The maintenance of this tank is very easy. We don't have to recoat it or repaint it at, at all. Every so often, every 10 years or so, we might empty the tank and push out any sediment that might accumulate. As a reminder, we get the water from, from groundwater and so over time there could be traces of uh, sand particles that fall out into this tank. And so there's, there's provisions in this tank to help clean it out. A welded steel tank, we would have to recoat that tank after about 20 years, both inside and out. And so over the long run, larger tanks tend to be more cost effective using concrete. So I'd like to point out a couple of interesting features about this tank. So what we're looking at here is an overflow. So if the water in the tank were to get higher than 32 feet, water would overflow into a tube or pipe that's inside the tank, come down the tube and flow out here. This duckbill will open up and let that excess water out, which goes into a drainage system, into a pond down, down the hill from this tank. Again, this is intended to protect the tank and keep it from overflowing in the event something went wrong and water continued to go into this tank. Another interesting feature about this tank is we have a, a pipe fitting and connection that allows us to sample the water in this tank. And so it's very important for Coachella Valley Water District to make sure that the water we deliver to you is always safe. So we're always testing the water on a regular basis. We can also read the pressure inside this tank. It's almost three PSI and so that's roughly about 
10 feet of water in this tank right now. This particular reservoir won an American Public Works Association Award back in 2019 that we're very proud of. The district has invested a lot of time to get to this point. In fact, this project took us a total of 15 years to achieve. And it started with the acquisition of the site and a lot of preliminary design work dealing with environmental issues. In fact, uh, the environmental agencies wanted to make sure that we accommodated sand transport from the hills across the tank. So the future tank was designed to make sure that we could pass sand through the site. And so it's details like that that really make this tank a special project for us. 